Imagine a poison that's in nearly every food you eat, silently wreaking havoc on your health. A substance that can lead to obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and countless other health problems. Sounds terrifying, right? Well, that substance exists, and it's sugar. Our journey begins on a farm where tall stalks of sugar cane or fields of sugar beets reach for the sky. Farmers harvest these crops and through a process of crushing and boiling, they extract the sweet juice. After evaporating the water, what remains are the familiar white crystals we know as sugar. But sugar doesn't stop there. It takes on many forms and disguises. There's the granulated white stuff that you put in your coffee, the brown sugar used in baking, and the high fructose corn syrup found in many processed foods. Each one of these types of sugar, although different in appearance, has similar effects on the body. When you consume sugar, your body breaks it down into glucose, which your cells use for energy. But when you consume too much sugar, your body can't keep up. The excess glucose gets stored as fat, leading to weight gain and potentially obesity. Further down the line, excessive sugar consumption can lead to insulin resistance, a condition where your body's cells stop responding to the hormone insulin. This can lead to type 2 diabetes, a chronic condition that affects millions of people worldwide. Not only that, but sugar can also affect your heart health. Studies have shown that high sugar intake can lead to an increase in bad cholesterol levels, which can clog your arteries and increase your risk of heart disease. And let's not forget about the impact of sugar on dental health. Bacteria in your mouth feed on sugar, producing acids that can erode tooth enamel and lead to cavities. But sugar isn't all bad. In moderation, it provides a quick source of energy and can even contribute to a well-rounded diet. Natural sugars found in fruits, vegetables, and dairy products come packed with essential nutrients that your body needs to function properly. The key, as with many things in life, lies in balance. Consuming too much sugar can lead to health problems, but consuming too little can also have negative effects. Your body needs a certain amount of sugar to function properly, but it's up to you to provide it in a healthy and balanced way. As we wrap up this journey from the farm to your table, think about this. Sugar is in almost everything you eat, often in amounts you might not even realize. It's a sweet treat that can quickly turn sour when consumed in excess. So the question remains, how will you change your sugar consumption habits? Will you reach for the fruit instead of the candy bar? Will you start reading food labels more closely? Or will you continue on the sweet but potentially dangerous path you're on? The choice, as always, lies with you.